This is Melina. Uh, I am doing a video today showing you my passport Fedori setup. I had a few requests for that, so I will get started on that. Um, if you don't know what a Fedori is or um, a traveler's notebook, a lot of people call it, um, it is in the planner world like um, your scheduler or you have to-do lists in it or <clears throat> um, like this one I use as my wallet and I'll show you that in a minute how that all works but um, that's what I have gotten out of the whole Fodori Midori craze that's going on um, at first I thought, I don't know if I'm going to like this, um, since there is no spine really, um, like a flip through where it lays flat, you know. So <clears throat> I was apprehensive about it in the beginning, but then I just got me a really inexpensive um, cover for a couple of notebooks <clears throat> in the very beginning and I loved it and so this cover is from Christina's leather on Facebook and I'll link her group below you order through Facebook Messenger with her she's in Portugal her leather is wonderful and um, shipping very reasonable I mean her covers are very reasonable very reasonable reasonably priced there we go I can get it out I can do it all right there is her maker's mark my mother is gonna love that since she just loves owls she adores owls that sarcasm you hear in my voice all right there's that now let me get my morning coffee out of the way and set us up while I'm getting this all set up and ready for you I hope that you watched my um, getting to know you video yesterday or getting to know me video yesterday on YouTube um, I had tried and tried and tried to make a very professional very nice background um, intro to myself for my channel and it just wasn't working out I tried doing this video at least 14 times yesterday before picking up kids and going to volleyball game and all that stuff that is also the reason for I think my voice issues right now I'm trying to get hoarse I'm trying to get stopped up I think I yelled a little too much at my daughter's volleyball game last night so forgive me for that and I will be clearing my throat and I apologize for that <clears throat> but if you haven't watched my intro video I would love for you to go watch that that gives you a little background about me a little background about um, why I haven't um, posted a video in a while we haven't had unlimited internet here at home we do now as of last Friday so I hope to be getting a lot more videos up and getting my YouTube channel growing so all right here is my passport fedori and as you can tell a little smaller than your hand <clears throat> I love this size to use as my wallet this is elastic that holds it at the closure I have some charms here done with um, Baker's twine and just tied them at the bottom I used a little library knot and then double tied them just to make sure that they stayed on there so that's those 
They are a thread bookmark. I'll show you that when we get into the book. Here's the outside. This is her caramel leather. She has turquoise. She has purple. She has all kinds of naturals. She has a beautiful um, black um, leather that is just wonderful. She has all kinds of stitching colors. She has a lot of elastic colors. I got her honey stitching on this one with the brown elastics here and on the inside. Now on the spines of these fedoris where the elastics go in to hold your notebooks, you can clip charms here all kinds of, you know, bling it up however you want to. Since this is my wallet and it stays in my purse most of the time, I'm not big on the bling on the outside except for my little charms here because I, I know it's going to get snagged on something in my purse. So, all right. So, first off, here in the front, I've got some little doodads to cover up my personal information because... I love you all, but I don't want you knowing my personal info here. So there are two top pockets, then a larger back pocket here in the front. Now, Christina does all types of formats for the pockets on the inside. You can pick and choose however you want it done. I chose the side loading credit card pockets for my front cover. Um, and this is where I hold insurance cards, uh, bank cards, driver's license, etc. All right, this first is a um, zipper and card pouch that I just got off of Amazon. And I have a um, pocket, <clears throat> pocket life, project life card in the front of that. <clears throat> Sorry guys. In the back I have, I actually have money. Yeah, this is from the volleyball game. I actually have money left over and I'm not going to tell my husband I have money left over. <laughs> um, I never have cash, but anyways, I had it there. So y'all get to see. I'm not really, really poor. I have a few dollars. And usually I'd never have any silver change left because my children robbed me of that. All right, on the first, I have three booklets in here. On the first booklet, I made um, a pocket divider with a collection from Authentique. It's called Fabulous. It's really retros, um, kind of 50s themed. Um, <clears throat> I cut these to wrap around my booklets here. Okay, and this is just a sticker from the um, collection. I inked the edges with uh, Tim Holtz um, walnut stain and my little finger daubers. Put the dauber on the end of your finger, tap, tap, tap in the ink, ink around. It's the best invention ever for distressing, giving that distressed look to things. So this is just um, cardstock. A little bit of layering and then on the inside is a pocket I can put receipts whatever right now I just have a little bit of ephemera in there and I made that little um, label with a piece of ephemera from some other um, collection I have I saw this little piece on a lot of the reset girls um, videos and so I use that there these um, notebooks are in a pack at Staples there was a pack of uh, three I think it was like $7.99 this is the rose gold there's a, a gold and then a silver and I'll show you those in a minute I made tabs for each notebook uh, the tabs are just made with a My Favorite Things die, label die. And then I stapled them on with my Tim Holtz attacher. And wrote myself on here. Guys, I'm all about using your own handwriting or manuscript. 
because maybe you might not like it, but it's yours. Nobody else has it. So use it and show it and tell people, hey, this might not be the prettiest, the most elegant writing you've ever seen, but it's mine and it's all mine. Nobody else writes exactly like I do. It's like our fingerprints, guys. We gotta use this. Handwriting, rocking your own writing is going away. Everybody is digital. Everybody's typing everything up. Everybody's, you know, texting. The handwritten word is going away. We've gotta keep that going. And whether it's just a little thing like labeling your own notebooks in a fedori, just do it. It's yours. Anyways, I'll get off that soapbox. <laughs> I just have a little hollow clip here. And this is my to-do list notebook. I just try each week to write what I need to get done. So that's simple. I just started these notebooks a couple of weeks ago, so they're not going to be filled up. There's not going to be that much decorating in them since this is my wallet, but um, I'll try to do decorating on down the line in it. The back of this pocket divider, another pocket clip that I just put a little bit of uh, ribbon on. That's the back of that pocket. And then this is the back of that zippered pouch. have a picture of me and the fam there some sticky notes, extra clips, and some washi. This is the next pocket divider and another pocket there. This is the gold notebook. Just a little piece of ephemera there. My brainstorm ideas are going to go in this notebook. Stuff about Etsy shop, home improvement projects, holiday ideas, blah, blah, blah. And a clip here with some lace. That lace is from Cindy Rosak. And she has um, her laces uh, listed in our Lighthouse group. I will uh, link that below. That's the back of that pocket divider. All right, and then one last pocket divider. Classy and sassy. The silver notebook with an illustrated faith piece of ephemera. This is my gift to get, make, or buy. If you're like me and you think of something that you need to make or get for somebody and you don't make a note about it, it doesn't happen. That is my life. <laughs> I never remember. If I don't write it down, I'm not going to remember. So that's why I've made this notebook for that. Another um, clip with some of Cindy Rosak's lace. And I have an album that I'm going to be making for somebody. <laughs> that's going to be that notebook. In the back, I've just got another clip. And I've got these in my um, Fedori. I will disperse them how I need to when I need to make a bookmark or whatever. I'm going to go back and show you this just a moment. Here is the back of this notebook and I've just used a regular like a staples um, clip here and I've got my pen in the top of that. That's like my pen loop. Now Christina does give the option on her fedoris to add a pen loop here in the back. I just didn't go for the option. I think it was like a $5 add-on. I should have went ahead and got that. There's the back of that notebook, the back of that pocket. My favorite piece of ephemera, sticker ephemera from that collection. Love that little dotted dress she's wearing. All right, in the back, I got a secretarial pocket. And then I just have sticky notes and some... Um, Project Life type cards in the back. And then I showed you the back. 
And then we'll go back to this notebook here that I have the thread bookmark in. And that's all it is. It's just a piece of baker's twine with that charm at the bottom holding it in place of this notebook. And then the back of it is in the back of the notebook with the other charm at the other end. So that's just a little way to bling up your fedora if you wanted to without it being um, too much in the way if you're keeping it in your purse like I do, like this one. All right, that is my fedora, passport fedora setup. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Uh, leave me comments. Let me know what you would like to see next. Um, I am trying to get a video up of how I made the little pocket dividers. I'll get that up for you. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know how you enjoyed it. Thanks so much, guys. God bless.